Hello everyone, this is Zenil, and um, basically, whoops, basically I have something to say about um, the end really happening very soon. So what's going on that's um, happening that's really going towards the end of the world? I mean, we're going to be raptured soon and all that. What's going on? Well, have you seen the hurricanes hit um, Louisiana the way they have? And you're saying, oh, it's not gonna, it's not the end because of that, you know? Have you seen global warming as global warming, or do you see it as something else? Because what I'm seeing right now is a very strange event happening after an event. Have you seen the wildfires in the California and all these strange events? I mean, California has winds that have never happened at Santa Ana, and these wildfires have been out of control, be well, mainly because people have been not logging at all in California and even worse is that five main hurricanes have been hitting Louisiana and six others have you know basically hit it elsewhere and just I mean let's look let's look look at let's look at it this way the sixth one is about to hit Louisiana now that's my next point do you believe that America is divided because God is trying to warn people that Louisiana is the dividing point of America? What about the Louisiana Purchase? That's going to be my main focus now. Louisiana has been the dividing point of America, believe it or not. The Louisiana Purchase was the land to be bought for slaves. So, in that sense, God has been directing all these hurricanes to hit Louisiana and to hit all these um, COVID-19 strikes in Louisiana, or Corona, wherever you can call it, all these evil names. And people are getting sick there because Louisiana was a land owned by slaves. Not only is it that way, Louisiana, we can call, is basically, whoops, basically what we can call a land full of slaves. And now, it's a, now the Louisiana is what we can call the land of division. Because it was a land of division in the Civil War. Let me point this out. That's it. If you live in, Louis, if you li live in Louisiana, I would advise you to either leave or on the other hand, just be a um, person trying to get as many uh, people out of people's, I would hate to say it right now, but just try to get a job that is for the national grid. Like national grid, national military supplies, you know, all these people that are trying to help you. Because Louisiana is basically divided and we have to basically come together in one way just to bring people together with military and with grid and all that good force. The reason why five hurricanes and the sixth one is going to happen right in, um, what is that land called, um, in that, um, in, um, New Orleans, Louisiana, why is that happening? Why is it always hit Lu hitting Louisiana? Well, you think, well, it's, the land is you know, big enough that's always being hit. Well, what about Florida? Florida wasn't hit all that often. It wasn't Florida that was always being hit. It was. It's usually always being hit because it's a. It's in the way with all the storms that Florida was a, basically what we call. You know, the hurricane capital. However, Louisiana, at this year is a hurricane capital. Six have them. Six have been hitting Louisiana and six others have been hitting America. Let me point out something very clearly. Louisiana just failed to recognize that there was a land of slaves in the vision. And what happened with Donald Trump was he divided the land of Jerusalem, by the way. This is another history point I want to tell you right now. So if you divide the land of Jerusalem, you, you divide your own country, Mr. Trump. 
And not only that, the thing that causes the vision and everything that causes the vision will be destroyed. So the thing that you divide will cause destruction on your land and desolation by the Trump. So if you divide Jerusalem, you basically destroyed Louisiana by hurricane and COVID and, and disease. And you'll have a lot of people in Louisiana having to leave because it'll be a strain on the economy. And the economy will fail tremendously. Hold on! And Louisiana will fail tremendously. Almost there! And Louisiana's economy will fail tremendously. And soon, it will be um, a state that is no longer there. People will have to leave the state because it will become a state where no money is able to buy you anything. It will, be, it will become another country because it was already divided anyway. I'll be done now, okay? Bye.